Right behind me, we have the U.S. Embassy. That was the scene of Tuesday's protest when protesters breached the embassy wall, tore down the American flag. You can see the flagpole still does not have the American flag hoisted up on it. But today, right here, we have a, uh, a soldier who's, who's injured. This is just showing how the clashes are continuing 12 hours now between the protesters and uh, the police. This is the front line of the protest. We have the protesters, a lot of tear gas in the air right now. They're firing the tear gas, but the wind is bringing it right back at the police. If you look around, you can see a lot of them, red eyes, masked. It's because the tear gas keeps flowing back, back at them. This is what's uh, really one of the things that's hindering the, uh, the police operation here is they don't have enough gas masks for all the, uh, the police here. And we get in another whiff of it right now, but the, the, if you can look, look over here real quick, you can see how close the protesters are. They're down there. They got the rocks to throw it. They're trying to go this way about 60 yards, 70 yards. You got the American embassy this way. They're trying to, they're trying to get this way, but the police right now have been able to hold them off for the last 12 hours. This battle has been raging. Ian Lee, CNN, Cairo.